Well, switching topics, our search engines work on overdrive this time of year. You've got online shopping to dialing up those holiday recipes. Google is our automatic go-to. So we say maximize its potential. My next guest says we can all search smarter. And I believe her because she's one of the smartest tech gals I know. Tech expert Sarah Kimmel is joining me with more. Great to see you. Yes, you too. We can do better? We can do much better, for sure. What type of benefits might you see if you employ some of these strategies you're going to teach us today? So it used to be when you did a Google search, like basically Basically, the answer was right there, the first result, but now there's so much there that it's hard to get to exactly what you're looking for. And so with these tips, you can find just what you're looking for. So we have to get better. We do have to get better. Yeah. There's so much more to pile through. Well, and it used to be, I mean, I think the evolution probably was the sponsored content started yes. to creep up there. Mm -hmm. But now we have AI, and let's start there if we can, because that's yes. one thing I've noticed. I input a word or a question into Google, and the AI response generates. What should we know about that? Yeah, so the AI response is basically Google crawling the internet for information. And so if it's on the internet, it can be incorporated into this AI response. So everything you read on the internet is true, of course. <laughs> so you know, don't take that for like exactly what it is when you're looking at that AI response. You gotta look at the URLs that it's referencing. So good caution point, because it does jump up very prominently. In some cases, it's even bold right in front of you at the very top. Yeah. Dig a little deeper, I imagine especially with sensitive topics like medical questions. Yeah, for sure. So it'll have links as to like where it kind of sourced that information. Okay. So I would look at those links, you know, if it's kind of a questionable website, yeah. you know, okay, maybe I don't take that advice. If yeah. it's like, you know, WebMD, okay, that might be a little more um, accurate. Anecdotally speaking, does AI ever just get it wrong? Like plain, simple, wrong? Absolutely. And AI can lie to you. Oh. So AI is really just crawling the internet and aggregating that information. So there's been some um, jokes around that the AI result actually was telling people to put Elmer's glue in pizza to help the cheese stick to the pizza. Oh, stop it right now. So, you know, AI is not really into the nuance of words. And so it's like, oh, glue is sticky. You want cheese to stick to the pizza. Use some glue. Come on. I <laughs> but to AI's credit, if we want to give it, put it there, I guess you can see and deduce. Sure. The glue sticks. Right, I mean, you ate glue oh. as a child, you know, <laughs> keep it going. Some of us did. <laughs> Don't take me down with, no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. All right, let's talk about the sponsorship links. Yes. Give us some kind of one-two on how to assess and smartly analyze those. Yeah, so again, people can pay to be at the top of the search yeah. results, and those are those sponsored links. So often, I will just skip the sponsored links altogether. Me too. Because a, you don't know if it's a scammy website because they just had to pay to get there. So fair to say you don't always rely on the first thing that pops up. It, absolutely. Again, you want to pay attention to those URLs because you'll see the title and then you'll see the URL that it's actually going to send you to. So if it's a legitimate website, CNN, you know, MSN, things like that, you're like, oh, okay, this is going to be a link that I can somewhat trust. Mm -hmm. um, but if you look at that URL and you're like, I've never heard of that website before, maybe be a little cautious about that. Note the URL. You say we can also search forums and videos for more concrete answers. Yeah, so a lot of times you want to crowdsource something, yeah. right? A lot of people will post to Facebook and get that crowdsource information. So Reddit is really at the top of the search results a lot. And it's a good source, but it's going to be people answering your questions. So again, it might not be the most accurate answers, but you might get a more broad range of answers. So it's more crowdsourcing that um, question that you have. I've actually noticed personally more crowdsource based questions popping up in my Instagram stories and in my Facebook feed. Yes. And I wondered if this is why, like people want the actual word of mouth recommendation. It's exactly right, because again, you can pay to be at the top and whatever, but you can't really pay everyone right. to say good things about your product. So a lot of times when I'm doing products, comparisons and things, I will look to Reddit and see what real people are saying about the product. Real people, imagine that. Real, real people, people I know, right? have something to say. Uh, finally, you want us to pay attention to all the search tabs. What do you mean by that? So a lot of people aren't realizing that there's the image tab and the shopping tab oh. and things like that. So if you're looking for, um, I think I put a link in there for kids safe smartphones, right? 
You've got that in there, and then you'll have a shopping tab, and it will really dig the internet and show you, oh, this one's 50% off now, and this one's this, and you'll see that it's going to like eBay or Dick Sporting Goods or whatever, and you'll see all of those different price comparisons in the shopping tab. So pay attention to those tabs. If you want to go to the news tab to get the latest news on something, you're Googling a specific actor. You're like, oh, somebody is saying that this actor died. Go to the news tab and see what the latest news is. You know what, Sarah? Dim me. I, I've used the images tab quite often. I've never even noticed the shopping tab. Right. So yeah, there exactly. you go. Exactly. I was your eager customer, student and client today. Yes, learning sure. at your knees. Thank you so much. Where can we get more information and advice from you, sister? So I'm on Instagram and YouTube at Family Tech. Family Tech sharing, I'm sure, all sorts of helpful things for the holidays, too, coming up. For sure. We'll link you over to Sarah's website from ours for an easy connection point. Thank you for making us smarter. Search smarter, she says, and we will after today.